Hey guys, Gerald here, real estate investor and realtor. So I am um, at our one of our properties here in Rocky Mount. Um, it's about to go live as far as getting uh, being available for to rent. Uh, this is a house that we bought uh, some time ago. It took some time to renovate it, but now it's ready. Um, everything's staged, and I'm going to do a really really quick walkthrough for you guys to show you what we have. All right, let's check it out. Here's the front of the house. We didn't do much to the exterior other than clean up, sign, fix the wood rot, new roof. Uh, you can see the house is on a quiet street here in Rocky Mount. We did replace the screens on the screen and porch. Um, we cleaned up the house. Here's the back of the house. This is a detached unit that eventually we're going to get to and make it its own separate rentable unit. Alright, so I, I am in the living room right now. Oh, actually, let me start from the foyer. So this is the from the foyer it's a two level home uh, five bedrooms we're actually making it into a six six bedroom house but well, originally it was a five bedroom house three full baths you see so to the from the foyer to the right is the living room so what we pretty much what we did to this room is just mostly cosmetics refurbished the floors paint and that's pretty much it See, there's a door to the living room. Put some furniture in here. Straight ahead is a dining room. Again, not, not much other than just paint, cosmetic stuff, refurbish the floors. All right, let's check out the, um, the rest of the house. So bedroom one is going to be right here to the left as you enter the the house again not much here just mostly cosmetic refurbished floors paint put a bit a uh, bed in here as well as a uh, closet oh I did want to point out the doorknobs again so each of the bedrooms come with their own individual doorknob lock um, each tenant will have their own code to get inside the into their private rooms <clears throat> the exterior door has their own locks too as well so that's bedroom one. Here's the bathroom. So this this bathroom was completely redone. Put it in the LVP floors, refurbished the tub, put towel, um, surround inside the shower, new vanity, new toilet, mirrors and lights. And here is the second bedroom on the same floor, first floor. Again, we'll put in a bed and a uh, closet. This room off, um, actually had its own closet, but it, I felt it was too small. So I ended up adding this to the room. Again, door lock knob, door knob lock. Here's where we put the um, wash in, washer and dryer, the stackable washer and dryer, as well as the water heater. We scoot it in. Easy access for the tenants. All right, so here's the kitchen. New floors, new, new cabinets, um, quartz countertops, backsplash. Decided to go with this natural wood stain. New microwave stove. Added a little coffee machine here. The refrigerator we added. So originally on this wall was a closed in, um, I guess pantry. We decided to remove it to give this kitchen, which is on a small size, a little bit more room and a place for us to fit in the refrigerator. Here's the back door. This is a door into the dining room and back out to the to the hallway. So let's head upstairs. So at the top of the stairs, we have bedroom three on the left and bedroom four on the right. So here's bedroom three on the second floor. 
Again, paint, uh, refurbish the floors. Has his closet, bed, dresser. So bedroom three and four actually shared a Jack and Jill bathroom. So we put in a new, uh, new sink, new countertop, refurbish the cabinets, refurbish the tile floors, has his own walk-in shower, refurbish that as well. Toilet, refurbish the toilet, and here's bedroom four on the other side of the bathroom. So with this being a, um, again, a rent by room arrangement, three and four is going to be, is going to share this bathroom and the bedrooms on the first floor will share the hallway bath. So with this bathroom being shared, um, a, uh, so each, um, door will have a, uh, a lock here. So the person can lock themselves inside. And and from the inside, you'll you let your uh, your housemate know if it's occupied or not by the red or green. So when so when they come in the bathroom, they just close the other person's door, lock it, let them know that's occupied. Again, red it's occupied. All right, so that's bedroom four. Again, with its own door knob lock. So here's the second or the third bathroom, hallway bath. New uh, countertops, new vanity, or not vanity, new sink, new lights, new mirror. Refurbish the floors, refurbish the, the toilet and the tub. Here's a bedroom number five. Again, five, bedroom number five and six will share that the hallway bathroom. Pretty much the only thing we did again to this bedroom was just mostly cosmetics. We furnished the floors. It was already a limited type floor. Paint. And here's the last bedroom on the end. Same thing. Paint. Refurbish the laminate floors, put a bed in here, a dresser, and that's what it looks like. Other things that we've done to the house that, that um, we can't really see is um, we, we added a uh, new HVAC system. Um, so this house has two systems. One was a gas pack in this, for the first floor, and uh, for the second floor, uh, we added a system with a compressor and it's all furnace um, and we also have these uh, thermostats so the, the first floor has this thermostat and this is the thermostat for the second floor so the way these thermostat works is that I can actually I can actually access it and control it remotely from my app on my phone so that's one way we can uh, make sure that the tenants are not uh, um, abusing the utilities um, just away from me to keep track of that and that's pretty much it guys so again this is our latest rental property here in rocky mount again we're going to do another rent by room arrangement this house is going to have six bedrooms with three full baths let me know if you guys have any questions and i'll talk to you guys later bye